What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Swing Trader channel. Today we're going to be talking about a swing trade that I just got into. I had a limit buy and the limit buy actually filled. It was at a very good number. Then the second thing we're going to be talking about, uh, one of you guys wanted me to look at a stock that you were interested in, WWR. So I'm going to go ahead and get some fresh eyes on that and take a look at WWR. Third thing I was going to talk about is I actually did a day trade on Friday and it was close to being a hundred percent day trade. Like you can't, you can't have a perfect day trade. There's pretty much no such thing, but it was pretty damn close to being perfect for me. So I was very happy with this day trade. All right guys. So the first thing we're going to look at here is a swing trade that I got into. I had a limit buy. It's on Deutschcoin. This is a cryptocurrency. And I had this limit buy on here for probably about two weeks. I had it set at 0 0.0022. I'm very comfortable when it comes to trading this Deutsche coin because I know a good price to buy it and sell it. So that comes very naturally for me. And that's really good when it comes to swing trading because you know the knowledge of the stock. So you know a good and a bad price. So just remember that if you've traded a stock numerous times, you should know what a bad and a good price is to get in. So anyways, it got filled and I'm actually up right now on it. Not, not, not a lot. I'm not up a lot or anything, but I'm, I'm up on it. And normally whenever you make a trade, you're going to end up being down right away. So this is good to be green right off the bat. So normally whatever happens with Deutsche coin, it normally goes through these cycles when it hits 22. It actually might even go lower to 20 to 21, maybe even 19. But this cryptocurrency, when it moves, it really starts to move. I mean, it pops very fast. It could run up to 0.0040 in maybe like two days. This thing could run very hard. So this is a swing trade that I am in right now. And if you want to get in right now, this it actually just went back down to 2283. So you could actually get in at a very good number as well. But just like to remind you to do your own research on this. You know, this is not really a real cryptocurrency. It's Deutsche coin. It's a fake coin. But if you want a little bit more info on it, I did make a couple videos on it. So you can go down in my video section and, you know, find Deutsche coin. And I explained a lot of stuff about Deutsche coin and what it is. All right. So this is a swing trade that I'm in right now, probably for a couple weeks, maybe even more. It all depends. We're just waiting on this thing to run. Oh my God, my snot's starting to pour out. Excuse me while I blow no my nose. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's comment here and see what he says. Can you do another video on WWR? Why, yes, I can. I replied. So it went through a one to 50 reverse split. So this is a chart that the viewer wanted me to look at. WWR, um, I'm not really fully excited about this stock at all just by looking at it. It just looks very bland to me. And I'm not a person that likes to trade these stocks. But I mean, some people do. Some people like to trade you know, stocks that don't really move that much. But the thing is, although the stock is not doing that much right now, if any news decides to come in on this stock, like very good news, this stock could run up very hard. And the reason is the float is very low. Look at 2.8 million. That is a very low float. And it's basically because it went through that reverse split. So it took out a lot of shares. So this thing, it could run very hard and quickly. So, I mean, this would be something that I would keep on my radar, you know, just to see if any news does come that this thing is going to have a serious pop to it. And it could be a pretty good day trading stock. And that's pretty much what I'm just going to leave it at right now. So ASLN is a stock that I traded on Friday. It did a little bit of day trading on it. I believe I found out about the stock. It was right around 945 ish right around there, maybe close to 10. I can't really remember, but it was going through a second halt. And I like stocks that are halting because that means there's a lot of volume and a lot of people are looking at it and putting money into it. I traded a bunch of stocks that have been halting over the past. And I've learned that you need to get in early if a stock is halting like this. So that way it's going to create a buffer when it keeps halting. Because when a stock like this is halting up, it's also going to halt on the way down and when it halts it stops and then when it opens back up it just gaps down or it gaps up so that's the first thing i think is the key when a, when a stock is halting you want to make sure that you get in very early so that way it creates a buffer if the stock decides to keep running up so that's the first step get in early so it, it creates a buffer that's a very important thing get a good entry point I didn't put an outrageous number in this stock. I only put 500 shares in. So it's not a crazy amount, like 2,000, 3,000 shares. You know, it's not a crazy amount of money. And when these stocks that are halting like that, I don't like to put a crazy lot of money on it because it's kind of risky because it could halt and then gap all the way down too. So I was very conservative with it. It's a big word. All right, so now I'm in. Now I need to figure out what my exit point is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the 180-day four-hour chart here. And I'm going to try to find some resistance, you know, where a good spot would be to get rid of my shares on this and i saw right around 260 was a good area but i wanted it to be actually underneath that just to be on the safe side so i put mine in at 250 but i didn't do my full order i put in 300 shares to be sold so the stock was going out playing out you know dipping up and down 
you know, halting, gapping up, halting, gapping down. So eventually the stock started to rip and hit my 250 mark. So I sold my 300 shares on it and then I almost actually went to $3, but now I still have 200 shares in this stock. Just because I don't know if this stock is going to run up to three, is it going to run up to four, is it going to run up to five? When stocks are halting like this, I have no idea how high this stock could go because I've seen stocks before, you know, start off at this price and then it goes up to $10 and I'm like, why did I sell? I could have made so much more money. So I taught myself to only sell a little bit just to collect your money and then always have a little skin in the game. So that way, if the stock does, does decide to run up to five, even $10, you know, you're still in this. But eventually the stock kind of died off and I knew I could see, let me go back and I can show you what I was seeing actually. So I sold at 185. Once it broke this VWAP here, I was like, I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to come back up from what it was. So I, I went ahead and sold my other 200 shares. It ended up being a pretty good move because it stayed under the VWAP pretty much the rest of the day. And I had a making right around, I think it was $480. So it wasn't a big profit, but the trade I thought in general was close to being a hundred percent as, as you could for, you know, like a day trade. So I was very happy with myself, you know, didn't get, have my emotions involved in that. It was just all focus on what was going on with the stock. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel and don't forget to like this video and let's make some money, everybody. Let's make some money.